I just came out from um, the garden tomb and I'm heading now to Jerusalem through Damascus Gate and I want you to see something special because um, this is a Muslim neighborhood and it's Ramadan time then a lot of them are fasting that's why I'm not going to drink and not going to eat in front of them but in Ramadan um, beside their fasting they are buying a lot uh, toys, presents, clothes, and uh, even food for tonight. And uh, as you can see, that not all of the shops of the market are open now because it's uh, uh, they are trying to be awake until early, early morning, and because they can eat, and then they're gonna sleep. Uh, not all of them can do that because some of them, a lot of them, are working. Then, in that case, you can still see how beautiful it is that. Um, uh, market and uh, uh, we will enter now to the city although I took a video of uh, it um, I think two days ago but now I'm not from here still it's beautiful to do that you know, look at the people um, again I think I'm the only non-muslim here that's why I can drink in it but I won't do that Oh, sandals for 10 shekels. Wow. It's like two and a half dollars. Cheap. It's a little bit hot today. It's um, 28 degrees, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's dry, it's not uh, humid. You can see the food market for tonight. A lot of sweats for the children. And Jennifer is buying a bread. <laughs> Enjoy, Jennifer. Jennifer is um, is a lovely woman that I met next to the tomb of Jesus, the garden tomb, and then she told me that she is following Jesus through my videos. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that I met her. And this is Damascus Gate, one of one of the eight gates in uh, Jerusalem. Uh, for the Muslims, it's mostly the most important. Uh, gate and definitely it's the most beautiful gate of the city today most of the tourists are entering through Jaffa gate and that's Jennifer again it's a special market from Ramadan time and it's not busy yet, but if you will see of your soul, the other video of mine, that you could see how crowded it was um, just before the end of the fast. Um, a lot of the Muslims are going into Al-Aqsa to pray. And, uh, and later on when they are going out, they are buying a lot of food and, and you will see soon the bakeries of it. Meanwhile, it's difficult to see, but... There's another gate here, I don't know if you can see it. This is part of Adrian Triumph Arch from um, second century, 132 to 135 AD. The gate is, was built for enemies. The enemies won't, uh, won't be able to enter. They will block the enemies. But again, look at the small market uh, here. Charity is a gun. By the way, one of the things that Ramadan is very well known by that. And the enemy cannot go straight. You have to turn left and right. That uh, gate, just like the wall, sorry, is from 16th century. The 
because it's blinking, I have to switch to a different kind of lens. Uh, then uh, you will be able to see things better soon. But let me first go out. I don't want to block the entrance. Looks looks better now. It looks better now. <sighs> this is one of my favorite bakeries and they have special sweets for tonight. They started to prepare it, it's supposed to be fresh, as fresh as they can. And remember people cannot eat it now, but they will eat it tonight. Why there are so many sweets? Because the parents promised their children, if you will come to pray with us, we will give you a sweet. With me it works. No, just give me some uh, uh, sweets to eat and I will do that without any problem. That building, you can see the Israeli flags on it. It's, this is the Muslim quarter. According to Mr. Biden, this is an um, uh, Israeli settlement in the West Bank, which is not part of the West Bank. And Jerusalem wasn't supposed to be owned by Israel and not by Palestine. It was occupied by Jordan in 1948, and then in 1967 it became to be part of Israel. Um, and according to Mr. Trump, this is uh, Israel anyhow. Uh, everything that you see here is worth dying for. Even if you have diabetes, just like so many of my friends, this is so good. <laughs> This is so good. Water, a very important issue. Cannot drink now until, uh, let's say, 6 p.m. And um, then in that case, uh, to see it, it's very difficult. Even for me, I drank like, um, I don't know, half an hour ago. And the minute I know that I cannot drink, I'm actually... Oh, yeah, yeah I desire to drink. It's like not to eat sweets, then what I want is to eat sweets. I'm sure that I'm not the only one. And until we will say goodbye, I do have more than 20,000 videos of everything that connected to the Holy Land, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We are reaching the Via Dolorosa, and I will continue with you. Uh, uh, sorry. Did you see that guy there? I see the guy that actually closes his eyes. Um, for me, it's a little bit too much. The idea is that he cannot look at women. Then, um, oh, come on, what can I say? <coughs> I'm sorry. This is the Via Dolorosa. Station one and two is there. And we are reaching here the third and the fourth station of the Via del Rosa. This is a very sensitive area. You can see the Israeli police guarding us, or guarding us. And the third and the fourth station of the Via del Rosa is right here in front of you. That's where he felt for the first time. That's where uh, his mother met him. It belongs to the Armenian Catholic Church. Then Ramadan Karim to all of you. For the Jews, it's Happy Passover soon. For the Christians, Easter time. Everyone is celebrating in that city. Hey, shalom, Ramadan Karim, Neshama Shili, Vesedah, Vesedah, Vesedah Gamur. Sorry, I need to get my rukaz. And uh, fifth station here. I will stop here, that short video of four minutes. You know what, let's continue a little bit more. But this is the fifth station of the cross. That is where Saint Simon helped Jesus to carry the cross. It's, you can find it, and the rest of the Via del Rosa which you can see that it's a little bit, um, I mean, there are no tourists, but 
it's not it's not so crowded maybe because the Muslims are going out uh, to, uh, through the Damascus gate and we are continuing a little bit to one of the entrances of uh, of the um, Temple Mount uh, Al-Aqsa I cannot go in I'm not a Muslim only Muslims can enter now uh, for non-Muslims there is only one entrance to the Temple Mount and it's next to the um, Western Wall. For the Muslims, there are at least ten gates that they can enter through it. And you will see soon one of them. Usually, there's a police people that will check that I won't enter. I have to respect, respect it, respect it. If you will continue straight ahead, you will reach the Western Wall, the Wailing Wall. Now, thank you for being with me in that beautiful, beautiful look at that beautiful bakery and the woman that uh, standing next to it. Look how amazing the bread is, and this is one of the entrances to to Laksa, which sadly I cannot enter through it. This is for me the end of the tour, but I wish that you will continue watching uh, the Holy Land videos through my channel. Then bye bye.